Have you ever had someone come up to you with an artistic project but then they expect you to work for free? Or someone's come up to you and said, oh you're an artist, you could sketch me. Or maybe they've looked at the price tag of your artwork and basically been like, they ain't worth that much. Folks, we're going to talk about that and so much more today in a simple topic that I call, oh, so you're an artist? Why not sketch me? Welcome to Art Tips with John, the only place that helps you build your own creative business and also helps you unleash your creative talent. I am your host, John Morris, the painter of memories, and welcome to today's show. show today because I got a great question in this past week from a gentleman in California and it's one of the questions that I've had before. Basically when the public finds out that you are an artist you will I guarantee you have this question asked to you. So you're an artist could you sketch me? Now when I very first started in the world of art I was doing landscapes, I was doing seascapes, I was doing mountainscapes, I was doing forests. At no point did I ever do any portrait and people came up and said oh wow you're an artist you could do my portrait. That doesn't really work the same. They just think, you know, oh well it's a shape, it's a form, you're an artist, away you go. My wife is a musician, she's a piano teacher in fact. And a lot of people would say to her, oh here's a piece of music, start playing. It doesn't work like that. You've got to have opportunity to learn, you've got to have opportunity to grow and develop. The other thing that's really, really interesting with a lot of people is they will expect you to work for free. They don't believe that artists are real paid professional people. They will simply say, oh well here's a picture, get on with it. And you say, well, it costs such and such. Oh my goodness. Now, why is this such a big issue for artists? Well, simple, because if you are an artist and you're looking to run an art business, you need to make sure that you are being compensated and paid for your time. Your time is the one thing you can never, ever get back. It's the most precious commodity in all of our lives. It's really important. So you've got to make sure, folks, that when you are doing artwork, you're getting paid for it. Now, why do people come up to you and say, why, why is this sort of repetitive thing? Well, there's two reasons. One, because some people in this world want something for nothing. They have forgotten the universal law, which is that everything has a transaction. If you go to the gym, for example, when you transact your, your gym and your fitness for time and energy. If you're in a relationship with someone, again, you, you're transacting there for, for time and money or for love or whatever it might be. And in the world of art, if someone wants you to pay, or if someone wants you to paint something or sketch something, they are making a transaction where you should be paid for your time, materials, like you would in any other job. Remember, paintings are products, sketchings are products. These are all products that you make a living from. That's the first thing. The second thing is, and this is on the artist because they have not been clear as to their boundaries. So yes, I'm happy to sketch a painting, or I'm happy to sketch a picture for you, I'm happy to paint a picture for you, but this is what it will cost you in order to hire me to do so. Now, when you have those boundaries set up, you find that again, less and less people come toward you to say, oh, will you do this one for free? And the ones that do, I simply say, no, that is not what I do. Here is my price guide. There you go. And again, it's really important you have those boundaries, but what you put out into the world is often what you're going to attract. So if you're putting out there, hey, I'm an artist, but you don't have a price guide in mind, then people will keep coming up to you and say, hey, can you do this for free? Hey, can you do this for free? And because you're a nice guy or girl, you may sit around and say, yes, absolutely, go for it. And you know what happens? You end up being bankrupt. Be and they're, gonna, they're not going to be there to help you at that point because you're constantly putting out what you don't have. Remember, you can't resupply and restock art supplies if you don't have money coming in. So, 
What I want you to do first and foremost is to make sure you have got a clear price guide in your mind for the different sizes. For me, for example, 10 by 12, 175 pounds. 12 by 16, 250 pounds. Th uh, what was it? 16 by 20, 375 pounds. Whatever it is, I know firmly in my mind, and I'll tell you something now, I maybe only get one or two people in a year that say to me, would you be willing to do something free for me? I'm like, no. Simple as that. I'm running a business. I'm not running, you know, just this, this, this nice free little giveaway. It's important that you set your own boundaries because if you don't, no one else will. It's important that you realize your own worth and you know how much something costs, how much you want to earn, how, how willing your audience is to actually pay that and then how you're gonna build it up. It's really, really important that you do that. Don't be a foolish artist that just gives away their work for free. Unless you really want to do that, that's entirely up to you. But for me, if I'm running an art business, then it has to be that transaction. Someone asks me to paint something for them, there is a transaction that comes in. So usually a financial transaction and then we put it back out. It's really important that you've got that. It's really, really important indeed. Because otherwise what will keep happening is people will keep coming in time and time and time again to keep saying to you, will you do something for me for free? The answer is no. Simple as that. Because my time is something I can never get back again. And neither can you. And it's really important to note that. Well, folks, that's all we've got time for today. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Art Tips with John. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend, because it could be the very thing that helps them in their artistic journey. And if you are interested, we have still got that special coupon code. We've still got the special coupon code active and available for how to build a successful art business. The link is in the chat bar below. It's exclusive for you guys and followers on YouTube that are following me, that are enjoying the artwork. And I hope you enjoyed last week's tutorial. I had a blast doing that. Don't forget to check out this week so you can see the next stage and the next level of what I go on to do. Uh, we have some tremendous fun doing these things. And of course, they're all done live as well, so it's always, uh, always a little bit hairy. If you've got any questions for us, please do feel free to get in touch with me. And until next time, I have been your host, John Morris, the painter of memories, and this has been Art Tips with John, the only place that teaches you how to build a successful art business and also how to unleash your creative talent. Have a great one, guys. I'll see you next time. Have you ever wanted to build a successful art business but have no idea where to begin? Have you ever wanted to make money with your creative skills but the whole process seems too big and just too overwhelming? It can be for sure. But then that all depends if you know of an artist who has done it and who is willing to teach you. Hi folks, I'm John Morris and for the last two decades I've been building not one successful art business but four successful art businesses where my work is literally sold all over the world and all without a formal art education. I've done it, I continue to do it and now I want to help you do it too. With the Business Builder for the Creative Mind you are going to learn what they don't teach you in school. In this six day course, you're gonna learn how to get started with what you have and where you're at. How to market yourself, how to sell, how to present yourself and your artwork to an audience, how to find your audience and your special niche, how to write emails, how to write sales copy, how to do an ad pitch, how to take advantage of social media to reach more people than you ever thought possible, and so much more in this course. We've got it jam-packed in over six sessions that ideally you'll do over six days. This course has been a game changer for many around the world and I'm sure it can be for you. The only difference between those who succeed and those who don't is the education and mindset that we feed ourselves. So stop throwing your money away and start building the business of your dreams. You'll be really glad you did. Click the link below and I'll see you in class.